Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Crit and I will be doing an unboxing on the Azura gaming keyboard by Redragon or Redragon Knight. So um let's get started. And here it is. This keyboard has a dimension of 8.3 inches in length. 19.7 inches in width and 1.2 in height which is going down and up uh, the weight being 1.8 pounds uh, available in both black and white but apparently I was not able to find the white version of the Azura but I did however find it in a Romanian store online if you can convert Romanian money into US dollars. By all means, check out this site in the description. Has two micro playback speed input options. Eight programmable keys with no software required, which is freaking amazing in my opinion, which is on the side here. Perfect for MMORPGs, Minecraft. If the uh, function five button is too far away, you can have a quick shoot shortcut by pressing one of these macros with your pinky. Or if you're like me, you just use the F key to look behind, um, in place of the function F5 key. For those of you who know exactly what it is I'm talking about on Minecraft. Altogether, all these keys total 104 keys, 12 of them being both function and multimedia keys, which can be accessed with the function button. Hold it down. Press any of the multimedia keys to access your music, home, messages, skip, you know, skip, or playback, pause, stop altogether, turn up and down the sounds. Pretty good. And I like how the function key took the place of the home key because on normal keyboards, you would have two home keys or window keys. And in my opinion, I really like this change. Normally, who who uses, well for me anyways, I don't use the Windows key that's over here. I mostly use this one, either on purpose or accidental. So now that it's moved to over here, it's way better because now I, I can only use one and won't have to worry about hitting this key and accidentally exiting out my game when gaming. And let's just say by some chance you accidentally hit this key when gaming, you can disable it with this key here. Just hit this and this button will not work. So you will never ever get canceled out in your game with this keyboard. Personally, I like this. I like this feature in this keyboard. So let's move on to the 32 non-conflict keys. I haven't really figured out what that means as of yet, but I'll make sure to leave that in the description as well. Um, the keyboard is splash resistant, not waterproof. Interestingly enough, the WASD keys is interchangeable. Has a six foot nylon braided wire protector, tough, lightweight, elastic, synthetic polymer, basically making it less likely to break the wiring within by accidentally bending them frequently or fraying so that the wires themselves won't be exposed, thus potentially breaking. Much like Apple charges do. For those of you who are very affiliated with Apple's products and whatnot. Has a gold USB connector. Uh, which doesn't make much sense to me because science. Uh, the only real physical reason to use gold, unlike copper or silver, is that it doesn't tarnish over time to degrade the transfer more than gold plating gold more than gold plating because it is resistant to corrosion and copper oxidized and exposed to the air like the Statue of Liberty etc etc reducing the performance and making it more consistent than copper depending on where you live of course I have a list of the metals that are more conductive to electricity and less conductive to electricity that will be posted in the description if you'd like to check that out this bad boy is rocking a several color backlit key, which is here. 
ranging from red, green, dark blue, yellow, light blue, no regular blue though, because this keyboard is apparently colorist, purple, white, and no light. Has an adjustable backlight brightness along with its adjustable pulsing rate for the LED lighting. Let's go check out the colors and test it out. See you guys then. Alright, and here we are with the Azura Gaming Keyboard by Redragon. Um, the overall feel of it, it's mm, not bad. You can really rest on it to, you know, if you want to use a mouse and it won't press because of your heavy fingers and whatnot. Um, just typing out random words to get the feel of it. Micro keys have a nice click to it. All of it has a nice click. This is a soft um, click keyboard. It's one thing to note. The space bar is pretty darn loud, if I do say so myself. But as long as you don't hit it so hard, it's not too loud. That's one thing to note. Um, enter, the enter key is very interesting. That is a weird look. Would have preferred this key to been where this like the shift is like right here ish, and then the enter key protrude out so I can reach it better instead of just having to lift off my resting position to press enter. Uh, but I guess that could be a good thing in a way since it was going to train me to always not have to look down at the keyboard and press enter and quickly go back to where the resting position is without looking down. Um, yeah, that's, I guess, the plus of it, but I really don't like it as of now. Alright, so what else can we check out? The uh, brightness adjustment, which is over here, the little, this little knob right here. Uh, I can turn it down all the way. Turn it up. Sorry, it's not too dark for you to see the colors completely. Um, it has red, nice looking blue, purple yellow white which is pretty darn sexy with the red and no light which is again not a color but <laughs> roll with it oh is that blue oh no this is dark blue green and that's light blue my mistake let's go back to the red because i like the red the green is pretty cool too yeah it's pretty nice um don't know what this key does Yeah, I don't know what that key does. Um, <clears throat> what else can we look at? We can look at the input settings. Uh, okay, so doesn't I don't see much difference as to the um, how fast I can input my keys when I click them. Let's press it again, see what happens. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. F, 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 F. Yeah, I don't see the difference in that. Um, what does this key do again? I kind of don't know. I mean, we can always check the box. I mean, eh. Whatever the keys I've missed out and I don't really know, I'll post them in the description guys want to check that out because I legitimately don't know what the hell control backspace does what now okay pretty cool yeah I don't know what that does huh interesting got your noom lock caps lock scroll lock but apparently the scroll lock isn't here to, not to notify you if it's um, locked or not which is I guess the downside of it. And like many other keyboards, um, this one has, you know, two stands, retractable stands, you want some elevation in your typing, like so, you know. And yeah. Right here, you want to see up close. But me, I like the elevation. 
gives me more of a range feel to reach the numbers and whatnot. And yeah. Um, got your Windows key. Pretty good. Now let's test out the wind lock. Click that. Yep, it disables it when you're gaming. Pretty good. Um, don't know what that key does. I'm gonna find out uh, as I use this keyboard extensively for a couple of hours. Got your function key. What? What did I bring up? Apparently the macros bring up your help and support. It's the first one. The second one does nothing. G3 brings up your find. Hmm. G4, anything? Nothing. G5. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh wait. G5 brings up your, well, gives you the date and time if you're typing. What? That's hella useful. Okay. G, uh, G6, anything? No. G7. G8. Wow, that's pretty cool. And I haven't programmed anything on these micro keys so that's pretty darn awesome how to have some presets set that set inside them already the function keys are for whatever that's under the function key whereas for mac for you to access the f1 through f12 you would have to hold the function key which is pretty stupid for instance if you're playing minecraft you know you'd have to hold the function key press f5 to look back but yeah you can hold the function key and you know, turn up and down your volume if you want, which is pretty darn awesome. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm stupid. The F11 key locks all multimedia keys under the function key, so you can't. Yep, you cannot use your multimedia keys. That is awesome. What? What the heck? So I can bring up my calculator with, a, with ease. That is, wow. I, I like this keyboard. This keyboard is not too bad at all. Your settings, your brightness. It's not too bright, but if it gets dark, it, it, yeah, it will illuminate the sky. Um, for my metaphor or choice of words. But let me go into a type test just to get a more of a feel of the keys altogether. And I will get back to you guys with my pros and cons. See you guys then. Productivities has eight programmable micro keys with no software required, enabling to record to the G1 through eight macros with the key next to the micro payback speed input option key. 12 of the multimedia keys can be accessed with the FN button on the right of the control key that replaced a win key on most mechanical keyboards that can also be disabled for gaming. Backlit keys ranging from red, green, dark blue, yellow, light blue, purple, white, and no light. All innards of the keyboard being splash resistant with 10 holes to filter the liquid straight through and away from the circuits of the keyboard. Well-crafted 6 nylon braided wire protector ending with a gold-plated USB connector for long-lasting potential abuse on the cord. Compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and apparently Mac, but for me, it's a early 2011 Mac laptop. Now on to the contraries. The enter key is really far, would have preferred the slash key to be where it would normally be and have the enter key extended closer to the quotation mark slash apostrophe key. The key clicks are a bit loud, but any quieter and the keys would be pressed simply by resting on them, and that wouldn't be any fun. Doesn't have a clear understanding on how to record your macros or what the micro payback speed input option key does. So YouTube would be your best friend at this point. And that will about wrap things up guys. I'm gonna give this keyboard a four critical masses out of five because it is definitely a great low budget keyboard for anyone who's looking for like a 30 to 40 dollar keyboard with not much cost yeah and uh yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing for the azure gaming keyboard other than that i will see you later fellow criterians fairly well